Welcome back, guys. My name is Humble Bumbles, and we're going to jump into a video reaction. I love all the comments that I'm getting and all the suggestions for me um, of all the different videos and artists to listen to, and I'm going to get to them all. I'm going to very, very, I'm going to try very hard. Um, oh, man, I see over my shoulder. Can we have a moment of silence, moment of peace for my chair? I think it's dying on me. I just can't, I can't keep it up. Uh, well, I almost said something funny. I almost said something a little naughty, a little funny. I can't keep, oh, wow, how do I say this right? The chair keeps sinking on me. Let's put it that way. And it's really frustrating. And I'm not an engineer, so I don't know how to, you know, fix all that complicated stuff and all that. I mean, I can barely put peanut butter and jelly together. But um, sometimes the chair does this, and then a few days later I get on it, and it's just fine. So who knows? Maybe I'm just, my fat booty don't need to be on it all the time. So we've got Russell Westbrook on a farm. I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. I've seen this before. I've heard it. I think it's phenomenal. Um, I'm just going to, we're just going to go through it real fast. I'll just give you like maybe, you know, some thoughts of mine that stuck out to me. Um, just wanted to let you guys know. I mean, this isn't going to be one of those fake reactions where I act like I've never seen it before. But um, I think Little Dicky is very, he is very, um, he's very smart. He's calculated with his moves. He knows exactly how to brand himself. And uh, he's a funny dude, and he can rap, too. I mean, he's good. So let's jump right in. Let's jump right in. Russell Westbrook on a farm. Maybe. That's such a good beat, too. <laughs> just just a picture of long. The picture alone is just, that's just classic Lil Dicky. Uh, man, Lil Dicky, he's so amazing. Let's go. Uh, ain't no doubt about it, shit is coming And I'm just praying that Lil Dicky love it Always told myself that this the type of shit I wanted I was being honest, even made a promise I, What I like about this too is it paints a picture It gives us an idea And I've seen some reaction videos where they totally didn't get the point They totally didn't get what the vid what this song was even about um, But it's, it's super cool how he can just twist twist things and and like I said before, he just comes at it in a different angle. Just nobody's doing it the way he's doing it right now. And it's so funny. He's almost like, if you guys can remember, he doesn't do parodies um, like Weird Al. But in a way, Weird Al knew where his niche was. And so he jumped on it, he stayed on it, and he made a big, long career on it. And Little Dicky's doing the same thing. He's not trying to act like he's hard or he's gangster. He's just, he's found, he's found his lane and he's staying in it. It's cool. No, I still got a lot of shit to conquer. I hope that ain't even my concern though. You know I'll be working till I get what I deserve. Whatever totems like a person do you know I'ma earn those. This ain't even about some shit up on a checklist. This about the fact that I'm about to test this. Pretty reckless, pretty restless, cause I've lived my life expecting love to come the second my attempt was done. And yeah, I guess to some extent I was correct because I'm getting buzzed. But now I'm about to be ubiquitous. Look it up. Look at that right there. That's just, have you ever once heard the word ubiquitous? Um, man, have you ever even heard that in a rap song? Have you ever even heard that in a song? That's just, that's pretty cool. This is cool. This is, this is on my phone. Uh, I try to cycle through this, you know, every once in a while. I got a long list of songs on my phone. Uh, but this is definitely one of them. Yeah, or that's at least what I'm assuming This ain't even close to what I thought I would be doing Don't get me wrong, I was born to be big But I always figured it would be the comedy thing Let's stop it right there I can kind of, um I, I mean, I'm not I'm not big like Lil Dicky I'm not, guys But, and I never will be I mean, it is what it is But, like he said This isn't even what he thought he'd be doing I thought for sure, um I was a pretty, pretty decent athlete. Let's just say I grew up in Gainesville, Florida, uh, home of the Florida Gators. Okay. I mean, you can hate on me if you want. I'm not bragging about Florida, but I'm just saying I, that's where I'm from. You know, that's where I grew up. I don't live there now, but um, it was football 24 seven for me um, to the point where I had, I mean, a lot of, I had a lot of scholarship offers and, but the only place I was ever going to was Florida, you know, and then it, and that reality came true. And I really thought that I was going to be a professional athlete, you know. And then I thought if I didn't do that, then, you know, maybe I'll coach at a big place or something like that. And then I ended up coaching at a really small, small place. Never, never even, never even followed through on my dream all the way through at the University of Florida. Um, that's a story for another day. 
Um, but now, you know, I'm not even coaching anymore. Look at me now. Now I'm sitting here in front of you guys, uh, talking, acting stupid, looking like a fool, but I'm having a blast learning uh, so much from y'all and so much from just these wonderful artists out here. And it's just amazing that sometimes your path in life doesn't always go where you thought it was going to go, you know. So everybody always says, you know, you know, you got to have a plan A and a plan B. But what if that plan B was really plan A the whole time? You see what I'm saying? Do you feel me? Did I confuse you there? Let's go. So I started rapping just to see what drama it brings But big dogs from sitcoms would holler at me And talking top five to ten strengths with no wings I would not lie, my pen dry with no ink or oh, Then I could have let bygones be bygones But I really wanted to rhyme till my line drawn Like where the fuck is my peak at? Not brown, but I make it pop, then I beat that mm, Where's his peak at? You know, he's writing this hip-hop Where's his peak at? And he's not brown, he's a white boy He's a white boy you know, trying to make it into this. And there are some white rappers out there, but very few, which are just like, come on, we all know who they are. Very few, which are huge mainstream. I mean, at least that's how it used to be. Now it seems like, now it seems like there's more than before, obviously. But um, Little Dicky just, he had a dream. Uh, but actually, I mean, you know, I guess you could call it a dream, but he, he had a goal. And he's like, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm going to rap. I know I can do it. I know I've got talent. Let me just, he, and he didn't quit. And look where that man is now. It's amazing. I'm about to come in and desaturate the sheet rap today and evaporate the feedback I hate. I elaborate. Man, he's so good. This song is so good right here. This song, uh, this was, I think this was, this is either the second or third song. First or second one I heard from him, and I was just like, who is Little Dicky? The first thing I thought was, why is he calling himself Little Dicky? But that's just him. But man. At a later date, but I'm getting off the point with the player hate. What the fuck was I saying? Uh, then I made a promise that I can't be the body to stop and I think I need a lobotomy. Little Dicky the prophecy, little bit of anomaly, not a commodity, not a facade or a lot of the comedy. Prodigies commonly brought up with Dicky. Feeling weird, let me think of an analogy. Just imagine for a second, what if Russell Westbrook never knew his own mentality? You see, and this is where people miss miss the whole the whole point to this thing. So now he's trying to break it down to us. He's trying to tell us exactly um, where he's coming from, but he's trying to use somebody that like, you know, the hip hop world can relate to, like Russell Westbrook. And we all know the man is a beast on the basketball court. Um, just got traded to the Houston Rockets, so I don't know. I don't, how, is there going to be enough basketballs to go around for him and James Harden? That's crazy. But, um, so, Russell Westbrook, we all know he's this great athlete, but in, in this story, he's a farmer. You know, he's not that athlete. So, plan A, as of now, is the farm life. So, let's go. Let's see if plan A sticks. Where's my button? To Russell, though, it was nothing but normality. And he really nice up on the plow in actuality. Everybody liked the kid and dug his personality. And so the mutuality was somewhat rationality. I mean, <laughs> actuality, personality, mutuality. That's, that's clever. That's good. The wordplay is good. So then your man made a plan of practicality. Not even a plan, it was more of a formality. Get a little Still land going. and attend to his vitality. Then vitality. raise a little fam till it all became finality. Then one day he was up on his horse. That's when he went past the porch. The path he normally passes forth was fast and short. Was after more, went faster north. The master lord, the master more. Mm. And then discovered the court. He like, yeah. He like, yeah. <laughs> I can picture it. I can see this is this is um this is the rap I like. I like to picture it in my head, you know. I like to sit back sometimes and just listen to the music. Uh Slick Rick was really good at it. I think it's called Children's Story. I mean you just picture the whole the whole thing happening. Kendrick Lamar's album, that first album, amazing. Bone Thugs and Harmony, you know, <laughs> just amazing. Um, but this is, uh, and I'm not comparing them to them. I'm just talking about the visual I get in my head when I'm hearing these songs and, and, and the club hits are good and the stupid, I just want to make a radio hit. That's good too. But I, I'm more gravitate towards stuff like this. That gives me some substance and just, it just lets my mind think. 
Let me down, Tim. Hopped off, looking puzzled at the round, round rim. rim. Saw a ball up in the corner on the ground. Then Russell started dribbling and giggling, giggling astounded. astounded. Then he shot a brick and then a brick and then he downed it. And when he hit it, Russell listened to the fucking sound freak. Shouldn't have been a swish, mate. And he was confounded. Okay, how many people in here play ball? See, there's a lot of you. Is there any sound prettier than like a true swish? When that ball just... It just it just hits nothing but net, and you just get that little bit of swish. Is there anything better than that sound? I mean, if you're if you ballers out there know exactly what I'm talking about. It's almost like, and then if you play football, uh, not everybody played quarterback like I did, but when that ball comes off your fingers just right, and you can hear it cutting through the air. The, oh man, Let, let's go. Let's get then the walking turned to running, and the hopping turned to jumping and dunking. And Russell had to keep coming because the younger was fucking disgusting and loving and running. And all of a sudden, the public started to come in abundance and fuck with him because he was butter and hungry, hungry, cuz stories are glory. Bunch of grown men looking to belittle the kid because to those men, ball was the reason to live. And the goats, they've been all in since they was kids. So this goat on the motherfucker looked like a dick. And even though Russell knows that, he doesn't submit. Like Russell Westbrook in this story, not submitting to these goats and the people who have been here since day one, he's proving to them that he belongs and that he can play, and not only play, he can dominate. And that's what Little Dicky is doing with the rap game. He knew he was going to get the flack. He knew he was going to get made fun of. He was going to be called, you know, whatever, Vanilla Ice and a wannabe Eminem or whatever you want to call it. But Little Dicky knew he belonged and he wasn't going to quit and he didn't submit. And now he is. He's not only is he, he's doing it, but he's doing it very well. He just chills with a grin and then the game start and this motherfucker take charge. Make it rain hard. D up on these bitches making children of men. This right here reminds me so much of the Jordan story where um, he went and played. He, I mean, he was a college kid, but he went and played with some pros, you know, in the gym or whatever. Uh, I don't know, a workout or something. Really, I can't remember exactly. It's this, oh, man. But Jordan tore them up. I mean, destroyed those fools. And, I mean, that's just, that's just, that's the visual I got in my head right there. And then the thunder called them, said they heard a lot about the ball and told them that they want to get involved and showed them all the shit that you can get up in the league is so appalling. Oklahoma City in the autumn, hella pretty awesome. And this motherfucker on the court straight balling, cash all up in that ass, lolling at the pass like, where the fuck would I be at up on the other path right? If I never stumble upon a game and think of that life, shit, who taking care of my farm? <laughs> Oh, man. And listen, that's amazing. Like, you think back, man, if, if, if I wouldn't have ran into so-and-so, or if I didn't take this left the light, or if I didn't get, if I didn't leave my house late, I could have been on that accident on, on the highway. Or, man, if I didn't get fired from my job, I wouldn't be on this journey here where I'm learning so much about some of these artists out here. Um, because, not to say I was sheltered, but... As an old school, more of an older school guy who grew up listening to really the rap in the 80s and 90s, and then the way rap has evolved to like where I don't like it, I just stopped listening to all the new stuff. I stopped. I just stayed in my lane with my phone and what I already knew. And then every once in a while, the kids would say, listen to this guy, and I'd give him a listen. And that's how I found NF. I love it. NF is good. He's talented. Um, little Dicky, talented, you know? So, um... Keep giving me these guys. I mean, I, I mean, more little. If you want to hear some more little Dicky, let me know. I've got more MGK coming. This is just so amazing. Who taking care of my farm? Who taking care of my farm? I really love that farm. <laughs> Anyways, that's that's where I'm coming from. But um. That beat right there, you mean just give me that instrumental, play it real low in the background, and I'll sleep to that thing all night. You know, just a good a good melody like that. Or if it ra if it rains, it's over. I might fall asleep talking to you if it starts raining. But um, uh, this was amazing. I mean, it was amazing the first time I heard it. It's still amazing now. Um, to me, it's a classic. It's just it's a classic little dicky. It just shows his skill, and it's just amazing what these people can do. Uh, I mean, thank you guys. I mean, somebody suggested I watch this again, so it was it's awesome.
Now let's get back to business, guys. Listen, I need subscribers, okay? And I know there has to be at least a thousand people out there who think like me, or at least like to laugh at how silly and goofy I am. You know what I mean? Or maybe, maybe you feel bad for my chair back there. Maybe not. Who knows? Just spread the word. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Watch my videos that come join me. Talk to me in the comments. I mean, I think I don't think I've missed a comment. I think I try to respond to everything. Um, I'm not going to be, at least, I mean, I hope not, guys. I, I truly hope not to be. I'm, I try to be somebody who's there, who talks, and who wants to be part of a community. Um, I'm trying to grow this channel, and I've reached out to some, some other YouTubers who kind of do what I do. And I've asked them for some tips, you know, and... Um, So if you guys enjoyed this, let me know, okay, uh, in the comments. You know I'll hit you back. Other than that, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Subscribe, like, comment, watch, whatever. Follow me on Twitch. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm, I've only been on Twitter for three weeks, but, man, I'm learning. So, guys, thank you so much. This was Little Dicky Westbrook on the farm. Russell Westbrook on the farm. No, let me slip up there. Uh, and until next time, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Goodbye.